Understanding, go against someone, a guide to navigating complex English phrases. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel, where we dive deep into the English language to make learning accessible and fun. Today, we're unpacking a phrase that often puzzles learners, go against someone. Stick around as we explore its meanings, usage, and nuances to help you master it in no time. When we say, go against someone, we're talking about a concept of opposition or competition. At its core, this phrase is used to describe a situation where one person or group is competing or fighting against another. But it's not just about physical confrontations, it can also refer to ideological, legal, or sports-related competitions. Examples. In a courtroom, a lawyer might go against the opposing counsel to win the case. In sports, one team goes against another in the hope of coming out on top. Beyond its literal use, go against someone can also be applied in more figurative or subtle contexts. It might mean to disagree with someone strongly, to act in opposition to someone's wishes or advice, or to challenge the status quo upheld by a particular person or group. Examples, choosing a career path that your family disapproves of could be seen as going against their wishes. Advocating for a change in company policy might mean you have to go against the current leadership. The context in which go against someone is used can greatly affect its tone and perceived meaning. It's crucial to pay attention to the surrounding conversation or text to grasp the full intent. The phrase can range from neutral to highly confrontational, depending on factors like the speaker's tone, the relationship between the parties involved, and the stakes of the opposition. To use go against someone effectively in English, consider the following tips. Reflect on the context to choose the most appropriate usage. Remember, it's a versatile phrase that can apply to physical, legal, emotional, or intellectual challenges. Use it to express disagreement or competition in a way that's nuanced and contextually rich. Understanding phrases like go against someone is key to mastering the subtleties of English. We hope this video has shed some light on how to use and understand this phrase in various contexts. Remember, learning a language is a journey filled with discovery and growth. Keep exploring, and don't hesitate to go against the grain in your learning adventure. Thanks for watching, and see you in our next video.